Hello everyone. Today I'm looking at the EH Pro Kelpie, a vaping with Vic project. The last 24 millimeter single coil RTA. Let's give it a go. It has got a dual post stick but with the option depending on which way around you've wrapped your quills and you want to put your quill in you're not going to be limited to having to adjust it or maneuver it you can just flip your quill around depending which way you wrapped it let's start with undoing well let's first see which way we're going to do the quill what we're going to use the nuts I'm going to go for a 24 gauge N80 round wire you can stick micro coils, you can stick chunky coils, you can stick whatever you feel like in here. Now, you can either have your coils sitting both legs this way, or both legs this way, or leg split open like that, or leg split open like that. Up to you. I'm going to split my legs. I mean the quills legs. Open that up. And I'm gonna go legs down. Which means we're opening this side and that side. And do those both screws. It's also got a slight lip to grab the coils in. Okay, so twist your coil out, get your legs in both sides, and twist it back in. There we go. Make sure it gets in underneath the screws. Like that. All you do is, is what I'm doing, pushing the legs. Okay. So we're going to get the one screw tightened down. Like that. Push the coil a bit that way by pushing the leg that side. And tighten the other end. Just like that. Make sure these other screws are tight. Slightly. Okay, before we position the quill. Snip those leads. One down. Quick trick. Got this little focus. With this little quill leg sticking out, just take your snips and just bend them up so they're out of the way. This one is way too long. Just take it and just bend it up. Okay, lining this one is easy with chunky quills. Micro quills, spaced quills, non spaced quills. If your leg's down, you don't need a lot of fiddling for that. But you want your quill in the middle and 
basically have the same space you've got on the sides running underneath as well. So you've got equal airflow hitting your coil. And that should be just fine. Gonna bed that one in. Light pulsing, do a few scrapes. And what I've just realized is my core legs aren't even stuck under the screw. You need to make sure your quill legs are stuck underneath the screw. This one prefers a flat wire. I forgot. Doesn't like a round wire. Look at that. My quill moving. <laughs> okay, back to square one. We're gonna remove. The micro coil from its slight entrapment looking so beautifully blue over there and that one can go lie over there with its friends we're gonna grab a NIAT tricore fused clapton Just like that. Same process. Stick that in there. Screw the one side down. Just line that a little bit. And we screw the other side down. And this time, we can see that the quills are trapped underneath the screws. Let's just line that up a little bit. Oh. If ever you've got that problem where it's moved up like that, just loosen the screw on the side where that happened. Hold on to your quilling rod. Get this pair of pliers and you can pull it against the side like that. Take your screwdriver and tighten that back down. Just like that. And the fixes, just line that one up. Our positioning is fine. We're gonna get our snips in there. And snip. Just 
just like that. Same story. Lift that up and lift that up. There we go. Let's bed that in. Those are lovely art spots. Give that a couple of scrapes. And there you've got a nice even glow from the inside out. Let that cool down for a moment. Cotton bacon prime. It's a three millimeter inner diameter quill. We're gonna need a third of that. that in there, pull that through, give it a little wiggle, okay, similar but not quite as to wasp mano, there's the thread of the bell, you also just want your cotton to sit inside there, you don't want it poking out the bottom, so you basically barely, if any want to see it when the tank goes on okay so we're gonna to get our scissors I'm gonna put the scissors on the bottom of that channel bring your cotton in pull it down give it a snap scissors in there pull it down give it a snap Being a dry bolt, I'm not going to juice it up. So this one is still going to be a little bit too long. See that? Don't want that. Once that's in there, you don't want any of that inside that juice channel. So I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to squeeze this flat like this and instead of cutting the top section off you're going to get in here cut the bottom section off giving it a little bottom air cut cutting the ducktails off okay I'm going to do the same on the other side Pull it up flat like that. And I'm gonna cut the bottom section off. Because once the cap goes on, it's just gonna squeeze everything in place. like this cap goes on and it's still too long we're actually just going to give it a top trim two uh, top trim two give it a little pointier cut give that little pointier cut Get all of 
have that lined up don't force it down if you do wake it up before you put the top cap on it's fine then it'll just slot in nicely get that top on reverse first for the click and let's put that back on and that STH Pro Kelpie RTA Quilt and Wick Quilt twice Wick once Good to go Enjoy it